everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Great run to let's not go crazy. Restart our streak might be a little bit of an exaggeration. We get to play as Isaac here, and that, that gives me a, a great feeling that we've got a good chance here. H, H, X, Z, J7, 37, H, B. Um, you think about it, an X is kind of like an H. Turned uh, 45 degrees to the side, and then you gotta remove that little arm that connects the two sides, and then you gotta like, you know, with that without that arm there to keep them stabilized, the two towers are gonna fall in on each other, and they'll form an X shape. Is my uh, that's that's my exaggerated impression of how an H becomes an X. I don't actually have dyslexia. I think I'm just uh, a little silly sometimes. That sounds like how they would describe, like, a, a medical ailment in the 18th century. Oh, he doesn't have tuberculosis. He just gets the vapors sometimes. Ma'am, your son is dead. I'm sorry. Now, we're going to move along here. Because we're getting into some dark subjects accidentally. Luckily, only one of those guys. As Isaac, I'm not afraid. All I need to do is remember... Well, all we need to do is remember that we're subject to RNG like any other run. So anything could and can happen. However, we're very, very likely to be able to get half-decent items because we can reroll. As long as we remember that we start with a D6. Which might sound obvious, but it's been like a month since I played as Isaac, basically. Maybe uh, on the stream we play as Isaac now and then. But uh, in, in the actual YouTube series, it's been a long time because I've been playing as Eden for so long. Uh, but the Isaac random, I, I really like. You know, Cobalt Streak said he thinks if he plays Isaac, like if he plays Rebirth as Isaac, he would probably have a good chance of never losing again. I, I buy it. Law of large numbers, I think that, you know, eventually after maybe a few hundred or maybe even a thousand or so, he, he start to run into some standard deviation trouble. But um, anyway, this is neither here nor there. What I'm getting at is I think we've got a great chance of being able to, to get a two streak. A two streak, four percent of the way to that delicious fifty number, which I think is a decent milestone. But as a random streak, you never know anyway, right? Like we could, uh, we could just random the loss next next run. Uh, Got to get to the item room here. Hopefully, it's on the left, and it is. I wanted it to be on the left so we didn't have to do the big room, and we don't have to do the big room. No extra spirit hearts. Disappointing. Enough money to get an arcade on the next floor. The black bean is like super not worth it. Let's uh, go fight our boss. I'm ready. Duke of Flies, no big deal at all. We'll throw a bomb down here. And he is reverse direction, because he is the ultimate Binding of Isaac Rebirth Pro. But we're still going to kill him. He still got hit by the bomb. We get an uh, Eternal Heart, which is awesome, followed by Roid Rage, which is fine. Not my favorite pickups. Curse of the Blind is going to do that to you sometimes. But um, I, I have to admit that I'm completely OK with the extra HP that we got at there anyway. It's like we got an HP upgrade. I'll tell you what, we'll go to the double key room first. And it gave us some spiders, it gave us a key, and it gave us a bomb and a penny. So we traded a, two keys for a bomb, a key, and a penny. Is it a good trade? It's not a bad trade. Don't don't get me wrong, I'd rather have the two keys, but it's not it's not terrible. It's not as bad as it could be. And we can at least go to our item room, which is more important uh, for us than being able to go to our shop right now, I'd say. Uh, I hate big rooms on the cellar, especially when we haven't picked up any extra damage, so we'll try to go the opposite way for now. Maybe we'll pick up Brimstone on our deal with the devil and we won't have to deal with it. No, we will We will definitely have to deal with it. Because if there is Brimstone on our deal with the devil, it is through that room right there. Not going to take the pill yet. Better to save it for a potential health downgrade into health upgrade swing. Or, well, we might take it if we get a good card here. Let's put it that way. The card... If it's useful later, would force us into making the gamble. But no, we do not have to deal with that. I will take it, take it anyway, though. We got a tears upgrade. Uh, that was good. That was good. Curse of the Maze has rearranged the location of these rooms. We may not be able to reroll a deal with the devil. Hoping we'd uh, get enough rooms. If we don't get enough rooms, I'm hoping our shop allows us to make it in. But then we're going to have to get enough keys. We have, we've added some question marks. Was it worth adding these question marks to get Loki's horns? Probably not. Uh, but... Loki's Horns is not always bad. It is sometimes terrible. Ipecac is a shining example of that. Uh, also, Dr. Fetus, but... Barring those kind of fringe situations, I feel okay about it. Monster Manuel is also awful, so we've got plenty of reroll opportunity here. 
I would love it if it just gave us an orbital forever. That would be better, but it doesn't. I mean, obviously that would be better. Oh, man. Every room that we don't have combat is like, yep, we're not going to be able to reroll our deal with the devil. Forget our devil. We're not going to be able to reroll uh, our our boss room, nor are we going to be able to reroll our monster Manuel. So, kind of handcuffed right now. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get a... No, no secret room adjacent to our shop. So, I'll, I'll try to do my due diligence. We only need, like, two more rooms of combat, but because it's the first series of floors, it's very unlikely. Uh, there is a battery charge. It would be better if we could find an arcade and get enough money to buy the 9 volts. That's extremely unlikely, though. Maybe we get a, uh, a nickel or a dime drop here. No. Alright, well, at least we, we, we did get lucky. Let's be honest about that. We got our uh, battery charge here. And I'm not, I don't mind spending 5 cents to make that happen. Oh, we do have to not fuck it up against the haunt, though. And that's not impossible at all, but maybe a little tricky. Alright, you know what? Bomb for one? I'll take it. Is it good? No, probably not. But uh, as far as value propositions go, it's it's exactly in the middle of the, the three possibilities. So, Well, four possibilities. We could kill them both with the bomb. There's actually more than four possibilities. There's four axes of which you could find a possibility. Uh, kill zero, kill one, kill two, or hurt ourselves. <laughs> and of course we could kill two and hurt ourselves. Kill zero and hurt ourselves. Kill zero and hurt ourselves is definitely the worst. It's not actually four axes. I'm, I'm bad at visually representing uh, logic problems. Don't get hit here. We could use our... You know what? I'm going to use my last bomb because I don't trust myself. That way we, we take the guesswork out of it. We know we're going to get a deal with the devil. And it was okay. We will take and then reroll and be happy. Okay, so we got the mark. And we got uh, the ability to fly. We're not going to be able to reroll Monster Manuel and that's a-okay. Damage is good. Decent, at least, especially with the tiers upgrade combined with the mark. Um, HP is not great, but that's kind of the that's the price you pay. We did get an expensive deal with the devil in the form of uh, Spirit of the Night, and our defense good. You know, we have this extra Spirit Art here from the mark, and the ability to fly should help prevent us from taking uh, as much damage as I as I might otherwise. So this is a good start. It's not out of this world. For the Sega Genesis or the Super Nintendo, but it's uh, it's acceptable. Certainly, I feel like we are we've made progress against the game. You know, the game gets harder at a set rate. I think we're getting better, or so far we have gotten better at a rate that is beyond that, or is uh, is greater than that. So I, I feel like that's pretty much all we could really ask for. So we are going to have oh that was dumb. But we can get in here for free regardless. And leave, and it ended up being worth it. And I walked into the fire. Why? You know why? Because my brain was like, you can't walk through those. Then I was like, I have the ability to fly. But the messages, they got convoluted, and I came up with the wrong result there. I was like, no, you can walk right through it. But then I walked into the fire. I didn't cor course correct in time. Course correct would be a great name for, like, a, a private school. Like a private school for adults who are going back to school to get their GEDs or something like that. Investors... Uh, contact me. I've got a great name for a project I want you to do all the work on. It's called Course Correct. It's an adult, uh, extended learning center. Highly profitable, of course. Um, we will just destroy these guys very simply. Move along. And of course, you know, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but what are we hoping for on our third floor? You ready? Deal with the devil. Yes, this is correct. We are hoping to get a deal with the devil, even though our odds are roughly 25%. I figured you could probably answer that one yourself. Uh, our odds, not good, but it has happened. Triple shot was a great reroll here, and even if we end up not getting a reroll for our deal with the devil, I'm excited by the prospect that we uh, at least got triple shot. Might even be better this way. And we have I Can See Forever. Take a quick cursory glance around, see if we can find our... Uh, Secret rooms. I would like to get to our regular secret room, but I think it's back all the way where that uh, curse room was, if I had to guess. Hearts I can't use. That's okay. Might have to buy another battery charge. Oh, you know what? Forget that curse room. Not necessary now. Um, 
I'm not gonna pick those up until I see if that was counterfeit penny, which it's not, but that's okay. Now I am gonna go to the shop. Now I'm like, okay, we might as well go to the shop back this way because uh, we have enough money to buy something. Inside of which we find black candle, which is well worth it. Now we can see where we're going. There is no battery charge though, so that's that's spoken for, unfortunately. Where are we at? Nine minutes? Plenty of time, actually. You know what? Let's do some exploration. I owe it to myself. Figure out where the heck the secret room is. It's there. And we get a battery charge. Is there anything more fitting than that? That just seems perfect, doesn't it? I didn't think I'd get a battery charge for a deal with the devil. I did my due diligence, and the secret room contained a battery charge. The prize I needed all along. I had no anticipation that that would actually happen, and it came true. Life sorts itself out sometimes. Then I'm realizing, man, we might have had enough rooms to just make it work anyway. But it doesn't matter. We, we learned a valuable lesson in all of that. Plus, we got Black Candle. Also great. Not that we could have avoided finding those golden poops anyway, but you get the idea. You get, don't rain on my parade, man, okay? I learned a valuable lesson. It doesn't matter if the lesson was learned in the proper fashion. We've improved ourselves and our habits as a result, okay? So don't rain on me. Gotta admit, triple shot damage, not quite doing as much as I would hope. Need eagle eyes to keep those shots at a closer spread. It's the wrong game, Northern Lion. I know, it's the wrong game. I know, I was making a joke. Not everything I say is factually correct. Sometimes I say things that are factually incorrect for the purposes of eliciting uh, laughter. It's a type of special breathing forced through the mouth to indicate uh, amusement. Oh, we did get a deal with the devil, and we got some HP. And of course, whenever you get this deal with the devil, you don't get to complain if it's Krampus. You don't get to say, oh, Krampus. Freaking Krampo cramping up my run again. No, it doesn't. You, you don't deserve this room. And if you're going to bitch about it, you definitely doubly don't deserve it. At least we have an opportunity to get something. And we'll reroll Krampus' head into Ghost Baby. Now you can bitch, because you just got Ghost Baby. It was just a prank, baby. No, that baby is a ghost. Your prank has backfired. It's the danger of the pranks. Rhythm is a prankster. I don't know where that came from, but I, I hope it has been banished to the depths of my psyche. Or the necropolis of my psyche. <laughs> Make sure to stick it to uh, youtube.com slash northern line for all your binding of Isaac related needs. I'm not going to talk for the rest of this Envy fight. I want you to feel what it would be like if I were not here. I want you to feel the boredom. Or perhaps the life-giving silence. That's fun, right? This is a good time. Edmund, are you watching? Super Envy dog. He's got to go. He doesn't actually have to go. I don't know why I chose to I chose to take a stand on that particular issue. Uh, I apologize. I think Super Envy's uh, it's an interesting wrinkle in the game. Most of the time I hate it, though. But I like you. And keep making good stuff. Nothing there. Okay. Well, um, now we continue to hope for a deal with the devil. Our odds of it are very bad. But it is plausible that we get it. Did we get the no the pentagram was last run, right? We were balling out of control because that early pentagram pickup on uh, on Lazarus gave us access to more deals with the devil than we probably deserved. I'm not asking for the world. I'm not asking for Brimstone Mom's knife. Give me like a dark matter or something like that. That's a nice solid upgrade that I could I could take home and you know and and treat it like a lady. I don't know where that came from. Uh yeah, okay, I'll tell you what, we'll go double down on this one. Get down to the half hearts. Oh, he's already paid out with contract from below. Lucky me. That was really good. <laughs> really fast and really good there. Uh, yes. We have received the opportunity of a lifetime. Should be able to do that. Walk out, walk back in. Two cents. Look at that. Making money already. So we got Contract from Below and Humbling Bundle and the Blood Bag all in very, very short succession there. That was not smart. We do lack uh, a little bit, but that lack is predominantly in the key base department. If I could key base some keys, I'd be very excited about this. And by very excited, I mean 
I would I would display an appropriate level of human anticipation, knowing that uh, we have a chance to get into our item room and maybe, maybe, maybe have a chance to reroll it as well. Hmm. That's probably our secret room. Little unfortunate, honestly, because I would have loved it to be adjacent to our shop, but we still have a chance to get a key. If not, let's just remember, we did get uh, our humbling bundle from the shop. So I feel like the shop was still worth the key. I'm just coming this way to see if we can get another key anyway, because we have uh, a key available. Or sorry, we have a, a reroll available, so we don't have to sweat wasting this one, because we're going to have two regardless. Like, that's pretty inelastic at this point. Okay, Liberty Cap is, is good. We're in deal with the devil squandering territory yet again. Ooh, Telepills. No, 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 no. This is not what I wanted. That's not how I go. Yes. Northern Line, was that an impression of Albert Finney playing uh, the, the central uh, father figure in Tim Burton's 2004 film Big Fish? Why, yes, it was. How did you know? I know how you knew. It was a quote. Okay, we do have the chance to get to our item room now, so that, strangely enough, did work out for us. Charm shots. Not good enough, in my opinion. Is Robo Baby better? I do think it sort of is, because it's gonna allow us to deal more damage. But it's not like... It's not a slam dunk. It was basically six of one, half a dozen of the other. At least we didn't get a shitty active item, though. Maybe I undervalued Charm Tears a little there, but... Robo Baby's really holding it down for me there. Cat of Nine Tails, we don't want to reroll. So we're heading down to the next floor. And it looks like we're probably not going to be able to do Boss Rush, honestly. Uh, no, we're like a minute and a half behind schedule. I don't know why I said it like that. Like, can you believe it? A minute and a half behind schedule? I'll never fly Delta again. No, it's, uh, it's just a little surprising because I do have some okay items going on here. And some not okay items, let's be real, you know, we did get Ghost Baby from a deal with the devil. We did get Robo Baby from our last item room, you know, that's not really gonna win us the run here. Was that worth the spirit heart we spent? No, of course not, uh, smartass, I think you already knew the answer to that question. We definitely need to not take damage on this room. That's step one. Then, go into our shop and we don't fight greed, that's step two, and then we buy a spirit heart. And then that's step three, and we've done it. And give it a decent chance, honestly. And it pretty much worked out exactly the way that we planned. There's our spirit heart. Lots of bombs as well. And uh, blood rights. That'll get rerolled into blank card. Blank card is good, but not when I have the D6 and I'm a little attached to it, I gotta admit. Stuck on you like Greg Kinnear and Matt Damon in the 2004 Farrelly Brothers film of the same name. Two of spades. Two of spades we will use with blank card. So why am I not doing that right now? We should go, let's do that. Oh, that's why. Now we're gonna get to 28 keys. That is good enough. 28 keys, and we'll move on. 28 keys later is the title of my sweet guitar band. We play all the classics, Kids in America. Um, round and round by Rat, you know. Round and round. With love, we'll find a way, just give us time. Ticka ticka dum, ticka ticka dum, ticka ticka dum, dum, ticka boom, boom, boom. I'm more of a drummer than a, than a guitarist, which the, the band was not a good fit for me, but I was looking for something after the Rush gig fell through in 1969. Uh, Cricket's head, please. Oh, another tinted rock. Infamy is fine. And so don't mind if I do open a golden chest, honestly. Why, thank you. Yes, I do have 28 keys. How did you know? Should have waited on this one. We could have gotten another reroll. A little bit, little bit uh, sloppy on my behalf. Oh, we're good though. We're good. I'd like to kill one haunt before we get too attached. Oh my god, we didn't get hit. The greatest dodges of my young adult life. Torn photo and no deal with the devil. No deal with the devil is almost a good thing because of the fact that I uh, <sighs> wouldn't have been able to reroll it anyway. Save our deal with the devil for this floor. We get double the benefit, maybe. So this is a big risk. We go down pretty low here uh, with the hopes of getting into this boss room, boss trap room, and getting something of value. 
That'll be interesting. Figured we'd do this, see if maybe we get uh, nine lives or extra HP. It's just pride. Pride in the name of love is gonna die here, but he did give us double hearts and a world card drop. And now all of a sudden, we go. <laughs> we go as fast as possible, because we have a chance at stealing an item from Boss Rush. All we need is that teleport card to snag us a way out. So don't go so fast that you lose this spirit heart. Like, that's the trade-off. Ah, that was extremely close. That's the definite trade-off here, and, and it does exist is we need to be smart, but also fast. We just need to not dilly-daddle. Really good stuff. Okay, we're making good progress. Uh, the secret room is interesting to me. It's gonna slow us down a little. It's interesting to me. Hopefully we'll be able to catch it on our teleport. I'm still waiting for a good opportunity to blow up some skulls, and here we have it. This room is gonna be the bulk of our remaining time. Pass or fail. Man, it would be nice to have an orbital for this mom fight. Oh, we're already at 19 minutes. It's looking pretty close. Come on, come on, come on. High Priestess is not good enough. Gotta wait. It's it's worth it. We can always come back. World. I used it again for no reason. Ansus, this, this helps us not at all. Oh, man. That's our last bomb. So now's where we commit. I did lose that spirit heart as well. Burkano. Okay, I think we slow down and we say, you know what? Got to give ourselves a deal with the devil chance here. Deal with the devil chance trumps our very, very low percentage chance of getting to boss rush. And of course, there's a tinted rock now that I can't access. Oh, never mind. We can access it. Yeah, boss rush is going to be, we're about a minute slow and that's okay. I need to write that self-help book. Don't sweat the boss rush and it's all boss rush by Dr. Deepak Chopra. Leech is acceptable. I was gonna say if that's a freaking teleport card, I'm gonna be real salty. It is not though. Life goes on. More keys, yeah, thank you. 34, nothing wrong with that. 28 keys later, can always use a few helping hands. Uh, we'll take the battery. We'll take the key for no reason. I didn't mean to buy that. Take this. There's no battery charge, so I won't take and reroll the ladder. Uh, if I have the money, I will take the ladder. I will not have the money, and that's okay. Don't sweat the money, and it's all money. By Dr. Nicholas Cage. Uh, it's, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna care. <laughs> Uh, why would I take the ladder anyway? Let's be realistic. I just, I'm like, I've, I've had the ability to fly for like 10 floors. We shouldn't probably take the ability to fly, is my guess. Leech, that's your opportunity to actually, uh, you know, get high with a little help from your friends there, but if you don't want to, I'm not gonna force you. I'm not a chicken, you're a turkey, and all that. 50% of the way through the fight. And honestly, feeling fine until that little nugget of sadness showed up. Mom, never make that sound again. I don't want to know how that was fully artisted. Almost. Almost done. Deal with the Devil still looming large. It's the title of my autobiography. Planning on gaining a lot of weight. Gonna go through some dark times. Otherwise, the book's not gonna sell. It's just a good fiscal decision. Okay, there we go. Polaroid. Not good enough, neither. Neither of them were good enough. Oh, 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 these are not good enough either. That's very disappointing. Down to the next floor. Oh, we're circling the drain a little bit there. We're actually, like, our run is okay. It's not incredible, but it's okay. Incredible. They alive, damn it. It's a miracle. Incredible. They alive, damn it. Rebirth is strong as hell. This is what happens if you're if you're a new parent, and you're admit, you don't have to be a new parent. You could be a parent of of any age. Well, not like 60, because then your children have a pretty good chance to be adults themselves. So I'm not gonna judge. Okay, I'm not that kind of guy. That amnesia means I will not be tempted to use my own Zeus rune on this floor. Uh, this is what happens when you let your kids spend too much unsupervised time on the internet. They're gonna they're gonna turn out like me, just spouting references nonstop. And it's like a little bit of being erudite mixed with just a whole lot of wasted potential. Which I think should probably get printed on a t-shirt. Quite frankly, I could use another monetization stream right now. Now. 
We are going to uh, kill this boss. He's going to drop a battery charge. We're not going to pick it up until we get one more room under our belt so we can hold two of them at the same time. Uh, I, you gotta admit, for a second there, you believe that was gonna come true. It was pretty close. You will take my money. Cause, well, I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling uh, friend indeed. You say he's a gold digger down in the womb that, that preys on me. I, I do want to, first off, sing the rest of the song. Um, but that's a bad idea. And I do also want to play the Demon Judgment, but I can't justify it. Because the extra HP could end up costing me my life. You'll be dead, as Josh likes to say. Battery charge, maybe? Wouldn't be the worst thing. Get another charge right away. Nope. Maybe because I killed him over a chasm, I'm not sure. Rhythm is a chasm. It's a literal chasm. Defined as a schism in the ground. That'd be a much more interesting song. I'll take the HP. Really need to give ourselves the best deal with the devil chance here. And we need to have a reroll. Oh, Lord. Every time I say that, I seem to immediately go out and fuck it up. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I need to give myself the best deal with the devil chance and save the rerolls for it as well. Because, like, for real, we're still lacking... Actually, it's pronounced Pharrell. Um, we're still lacking the... Uh, some of the necessary tools for a, a typically victorious run. Uh, did those shots literally fly right past me and I should have been hit by them? I assumed the shots would not fly over the rocks. I may have been mistaken and I may have shit myself a little bit right there. Oh, I've bunged it. I bunged it twice. I bunged it for a third time. Those guys do not die in one or two hits. Takes takes two good ones. Oh, there's our deal with the devil chance now. Um, or squandered a little at least. Take some, a couple of good ones. At least we still have a reroll ready for our boss fight. Maybe we can fight four times the Fallen. Fucking sweet ass name for a band though, dog. Four times the Fallen. And then, here's the real kicker. The band has five members. Oh shit. Did he say what I think he just said? Four times the Fallen has five members. And we play bluegrass covers of old TV theme songs. New boy in the neighborhood. I can't believe I'm committing to this. Lives downstairs and it's understood. He's there just to take good care of me. And like he's part of the family. I need a banjo in the background. This is gonna work. Charles in charge of our days and our yodel late nights. Charles. Oh, kill me. Yes, I want, I want Charles in charge of me. Please. And if you could just, uh, if you could just take a little bit more damage, that would be, like, lovely. If you could stop doing that attack that, uh, caused you to sink underneath the ground and make it impossible to hit you for, like, three seconds on either side, that'd be, that'd be dope. Come on, against all odds, give me a deal with the devil. That's another song that uh, Four Times the Fallen sings. Well, it's more like a spoken word. The song sings me. No deal with the devil. Toothpicks is fine. That's another one we do. Okay. We can still win this run. In fact, we should be favorites to win this run. I don't need money. At this point, it's not about the gold. It's about letting go. <laughs> Toothpicks has helped. I can already... F I can feel the extra shot speed helping. Oh, that was... Very dangerous. Uh, I, I really, not shot speed specifically, sorry. I can feel the extra, like, rate of fire helping. Feels like we're firing markedly faster. That was a pretty much a waste of time there. Uh, I can see forever. I'll take two of those because I'm sticking with the Anzu's rune. More valuable than being able to get to the secret room is the ability to see where the secret room is, bomb our way in, and also see where literally every other room on the floor is. And bomb our way out. So I think we shouldn't have... Is this, I thought it was two more I can see forevers, but we shouldn't have too much trouble finding our way to the boss now that Liberty Cab has showed us that it's probably in this direction. And I don't think we'll have too much trouble getting through this floor and getting through the chest. So it really, to some extent, will come down to our uh, items in the chest as not abnormal for us. Wow, that's uh, just three slam dunks right there. And as long as we keep hearing, you know, some enemies dying almost every time we take a shot, I'm happy with our life right now. 
Especially, you know, Robo Baby with that delicious uh, infinite range piercing shot that does almost no damage, but, you know, adds up, I guess. This it should be the right way. Small rock, maybe. Small rock would be nice. Small rock. Ooh, golden chest. Oh, the moon. Not very valuable, unfortunately. Ah, second secret room. Great. And that's that's good. If we find a demon judgment, we could take advantage of that. We won't, but um, it's good to talk about the theory in, you know, the one in 45 chance that it ends up happening. On our on our boss fight. <laughs> if we end up finding a demon judgment on our boss fight, uh, then we can use it with with uh, confidence, knowing we've done the right thing. I know deep in your heart, I still judge you. Yeah, there's for the first time in a hundred episodes, I've I've actually made it a rebirth-related joke that I'm sort of proud of in my own twisted way. You know, we're not doing an insignificant amount of damage. <laughs> Zero is very significant. <laughs> no, seriously, like we're doing okay. Kind of wish there were like less enemies on the screen right now. Like that's a little fudged up, but we did get through it either way. No concerns and complaints there. We'll use on Zeus on the. No, oh, Lord, we almost. <laughs> Oh, that'll get your blood pumping on a Friday night. Okay, where are we going here? We don't really care about the curse room all that much at this point. Okay, let's just... It's a quieter Isaac run than I expected. But you know what? We'll just commit this one to memory, put it in the logbook, and get ready for our next random run. This one has been fine. At best, but still, fine. We're, we're alive. We got 6 HP. We got decent damage. This is like your, this is your okay run. This is your backup run, you know? If you don't get in the temple, well, you can always go to Indiana State, buddy. There's nothing wrong with that. Unless you're gonna, you know, unless you're getting in the middle, like a PhD right out of undergrad, it doesn't matter. You don't sweat the university that much. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. You're gonna be unemployed for three years after your undergrad anyway, unless you get like a, you know, a business degree. It's fucked up. That's what life's like in the in the 2010s, dog. I don't mean I'm just providing a sobering glimpse of young adult life. You could be me in 10 years if you're if you're 16 right now. You gotta start putting in the hours now so you can avoid this terrible fate. I'm being mostly sarcastic. All right, we'll take the small rock. We asked for it. We got it. Can't complain. Uh, we don't really want... I'll tell you what, I'll blow it up. If we were smarter, we would play it. If we had more patience, we would play it. But who's smarter? Me, who's gonna win this run anyway, without playing that, and is gonna, uh, get to play another ten minutes of Magic the Gathering tonight. Or, the person who spends an extra ten minutes there, and is gonna get shat on by my hangerback walkers. Exactly! The answer's me, baby. Probably. Unless I end up losing this run, in which case I didn't account for that in my metaphor. Oh! That was... HP I'm not happy to have taken, but uh, okay, that's even worse. And it wasn't HP I took, it was damage, buddy. Now, get him to the next state before he spawns. Jerks. We're good, we're good. Uh, we will get our HP back. The other thing is we have the leech, so we'd be expecting little old uh, Brian here, former number two for the New York Rangers be setting us up with some HP from time to time. You know what? I think this dude just earned a special delivery. One homemade clock. Delivered to your door. Cash on delivery. More like corpse on delivery. Now, stand up here in the top left. One day, you will perish, and I will I will inherit the earth, and I will, I will, I will liberate it from the clutches of the Isaacs and the blue babies that would keep us down. Yeah, that's right. We don't have 6 HP. We had 5 HP. I was mistaken. Uh, hopefully, we get like one good item on the chest. Otherwise, this actually may turn out to be a little, little funkier than expected. No curses. This is good. That's not. Mom's brow is not. Virgo is okay. The soul is good. Sacrificial dagger is good enough. So this is a pretty okay haul. I can't be mad. 
Reroll that. It became uh, Crack the Sky. Crack the Sky is awful. How many times does this happen? I end up going the opposite way of the big room, trying to take the easy way out, and then we end up taking more damage as a result. It happens a lot. Man, I could have skipped this whole adversary room. That's okay. We still got... Well, we lost both spirit hearts. That's not so good. But we're still fine. He's gonna attack soon. There you go. Just keep moving. Fuck the sacrificial dagger. It's not worth getting into your orbital paradigm right now. Stay out of Woolsworth. Yeah, just keep yourself moving. You got the speed necessary to go from zero to 60 fucking miles away from here fast enough. I can't believe I had the wherewithal to dodge that one. I, I would not have expected. Uh... Ball of tar? It's okay. I don't think it's worth it. I think I'd rather just get the extra reroll. I forgot we had the battery. We could have rerolled last room, but whatever. How's our luck stat? I don't think it's been augmented very much, so... Uh, I hope maybe we're good for a chest or two. We do have contract from below, so we should be getting even numbers of chests. Oh, that was just... That was scandalous there. More money. Ah, this is good. Kill, uh, kill Gluttony last. Yeah, that's right. Drop a bomb right on his fucking head. Much appreciated. It's gonna make it real easy. Leech, go buck wild in his candy ass. Yeah, Gluttony, you're my boy. I am going to kill you, though. Uh, you have died. Still so far so good. We've, we've unlocked the Kestrel in our mini-map here, and we're ready to move on. Come on. Yeah, that's right. You can both get a taste. It's a buffet all you can eat, baby. Careful, though. The meatballs are real spicy. That's good. Two half red hearts actually is almost better in some ways than the two double red hearts. Because it gives us uh, some agency over whether we want to stay at a half heart interval or not next time we get hit. But that's going to be hard to maintain because of the leech anyway. But in theory, there's, uh, there's some value associated with it. Oh, hello. Darkness, my old friend. Come to spar with you again. Because our room is triple Loki. Wanna make his ass like Noki. It's a pasta uh, from the northern region of the Italian peninsula. And it is made of potatoes. We're safe. We're safe. I don't know. I have to apologize, by the way. I don't know if Gnocchi is actually from the uh, the northern region of Italy. But uh, it, it came to me in that moment, and I decided to, to, to believe in that and to trust in that feeling. And uh, hopefully that doesn't backfire. Uh, double Temperance card is interesting. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Might be able to get some use out of that. Might as well kill this guy last uh, sloth here to get the tarot card. Never know what kind of beauty that'll give us. Sweets. The Hermit. Why not? I wasn't done with that room, so the joke's on you, really. Okay, this is a very useful time to use Sacrificial Dagger. Run in there. Get a little bit of bonus D done. Forget the Mega Fatties. The Mega Fatties, you can fight two of those at the very end of this room. You know, they're not they're not as relevant. That's what we're looking for. Virgo. Hello, hello. Run, changer, vertigo. Inconsistent Polaroid invokes. I just hope it can hold. It sort of works. As far as my parodies of uh, U2's... 2005 uh, surprise hit single Vertigo Go. I'm okay with that. No chests, by the way. I'm having a really good time with that so far. It's like, why would I need extra items? Like, the game's already been very generous. We don't need anything. Okay. Really? Like, nothing? You're not even gonna let me hit you anymore? Look, I got the speed to put you on your knees. And I got the knowledge to get me into college. So you better uh, step to me with the plan if you want to be the man. Otherwise, I'm going to uh, make you nerfed like Dan 
from Street Fighter. He's probably the worst. I can never do his combos. Uh, bloobity bloobity blursts. Eh, there you go. This is my freestyle. I'm just freestyling. Sometimes when I freestyle, I lose confidence. I should have gone with Dan Geasling instead of Dan from Street Fighter. So stupid. Okay. There's going to be one person watching this that's going to be like, Wow, how does Northern Lion know the name of former Big Brother winner Dan Geasling? That's a very funny story. Uh, probably a little too little too late on this luck foot, but... Dan Geasling um, contacted Mathis Games because he was a fan of his content. Uh, and then I had lunch with Mathis Games at PAX East a year ago. I guess like going on two years ago now. And he was like, hey, this guy's going to join us. You want to, you know, you, are you okay with that? And I was like, all right, who is he? He's like, it's Dan Giesling. He won Big Brother. I was like, you're fucking with me. That's pretty bizarre. But no, it was Dan Giesling. He won Big Brother. We had lunch. He's a cool guy. Did some collaborations. He stayed with us at PAX Prime the previous year in 2014. And, um, yeah, he's like, he's a friend of ours now. Which is not bragging. It's just me representing or trying to adequately convey the absurdity. I'm not ragging on Dan Giesling, former Big Brother winner, uh, just to be a shithead. He's a, he's a friend of ours, as strange as that sounds. So I can make fun of him. Sometimes I forget that, that Dan is like, basically conventional person famous, and I'll tweet him a joke, and there'll be people that are like, why the fuck are you, why are you picking on Dan Giesling? And I'm like, alright, oh, this guy has like 400,000 Twitter followers, and some of them are, a uh, Big fans, super fans, very polite way to put it. Uh, and they, they get protective over there of oh, my little geesling. My little geesling. Okay, we won. Um, it was close, but not so bad in the end. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.